And the biomedical side, and again, something I find fascinating, some way that, you know, is so far out there in terms of where you think strain gauge might have been used or might have been imagined they being used. Um, I've been involved for many years in mutual valve repair rings where um, a rapid prototype printed ring will be strain gauged and then sutured into a heart and the force is measured whilst that heart is beating. It's to optimise the design of these rings. And the guy that I did the original research with, uh, we wrote a, a paper together, which you'll find on our website. Um, these, the rings now are saddle shaped instead of flat. In fact, that is the, the optimum design for these rings, but the work is still ongoing. Dental work, um, I've helped people bond strain gauge to teeth. So for example, you take this tooth and you put it into your Instron test machine, you compress it with a strain gauge based load cell, you get load versus strain. You would then drill the tooth and fill it or do some sort of work to it and then repeat the test to see how the tooth strength has changed. We also gauge up bridges, plates, bone inserts, that kind of thing. And then if you're unlucky enough to break your bone, then you may need a fixator and these fixators often are strain gauge as well to optimize the healing process. So fixators have to have a certain amount of flexibility because bones don't heal so much when they're held rigidly. We also stick strain gauge onto joints like knees and hips and the tools that are used to actually put them in. So we've gauged up uh, bone sores, that kind of thing. Prosthetics, well, most false legs in the past were static, whereas nowadays they've got actuators and force measurement. And as you're probably aware, when you stand still, you're actually continually moving. So modern prosthetics, they will deliberately unbalance the patient, which enables them to actually stand upright, ironically. And then infusion pumps. If you're un unlucky enough to have something, um, you know, being pumped into you in hospital, the pumps have strain gauge systems for patient safety reasons.